What is up guys, Kane here and in this video we're going to go over the Kingdom Guardian event and how you can easily pass this event to Wave 50. Now, I am not going to tell you that you can and will have to brute force this event and there is no other way. This video will be more or less helping those weaker players which are stuck on let's say Wave 35 and up to be able to clear this to wave 50. And why is this a must for you to do such a thing? The thing is this event has so much rewards and even the new feature with relics, they give you so much stuff that if you miss this or you don't reach to wave 50 or even 45 or stuff like that, you're missing on a huge and huge amount of materials. Now, if you're going to tell me that this event is too hard and a lot of players are not able to pass this, well, you probably don't know how to pass this, or you haven't tried to, or all those kinds of things. Now, I personally did not use this trick, so I cannot tell you that it will work 100% for you and your server. And the reason for that is, I can only tell you that this will in fact work, only up until the server length which my server is at, which is I think getting closer to half a year. Now, why I said such a thing? The meaning for that is the further this server or rather the server length is going, the longer it means we have stayed in this game and the stronger the army becomes in this event. So. The previous event we had tier 14 as the strongest army. A couple of events back it was tier 13. And in this one we had tier 15 troops already. So most likely the next or the next week this event will have tier 16. So this event is getting procedurally harder and harder. So for very old servers this might not work and I'm already warning you up front. However, this will easily work for anyone below us being on, let's say, newer servers. So what is this trick? Unfortunately, I do not want to go into my PMs to show you the picture and the conversations that we had with the other people. So I will just put on the picture of the formation on the screen somewhere around about now. And the thing that we will need for this to succeed are the Lich Rays and you will need the Dire Lich Skeletons. The reason for that is for them surviving two and a half seconds after they receive a killing blow. And that is not all. There are quite a few other things to add on to that that you can easily achieve yourself. And I do believe 99.9% .9 of the players can easily do that. However, I am not entirely sure if you will be able to do that right this instant, depending how many materials you have already spent or depending if you have those specific things. So the first of them is being the direless skeletons, which we have explained right now. The second thing is being a black dragon, which I do not have myself. So let's just go into the rankings and show you my friend's dragon. Now I have to tell you that you do not need this dragon to be insanely decked out. A low level black dragon in the shape of level 19 will do for this event as well. The only thing you need is either one or two skills with the black holes. The main one that you will have to have is the Eternal Void. And this skill says, when friendly non-hero non-summoned melee units fall in battle, they have an 8% chance to summon a black hole. Now, what does this mean? So, if your melee units die, they have a percent chance to summon a black hole, which lasts, I think, from 2 seconds to 5 seconds, and it controls the backline usually for those 2 and 5 seconds, and that is called buying time. So you do not need to win the fight by force. 
you can just survive that 1 minute and 30 seconds. And this skill on a black dragon, meaning greater eternal void, will help you do just that. Now, you're going to tell me that, wow, this level 19 dragon is going to die in one shot. You're like stupid, you're whatever, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And that is the reason why I showed you this picture right now. You are blocking this dragon from walking forward. And also, in this picture, you see that the person has also blocked Gazel from moving forward. And why is that also important? And when we go on to his abilities, the most important skill for him is the Immortal Strength. And the reason for that is they have a percent chance of immediately resurrecting the skeletons upon their death. So this, adding on to the Black Dragon's Eternal Void, adding the Black Dragon's Destruction, or rather the affliction which will add an additional two seconds of undying means that the enemy will have to kill your lich dire skeletons over and over and over and those skeletons will be reviving over and over and they will have no way to reach your black dragon or your gazelle for that to stop and it becomes pretty disgusting in the shape of how you can just cheese this event now, is this cheating? No, it's not cheating. It's just abusing the system given to you. And that is what you will need to do. However, you will still need a specific hero to kill the catapults. If you don't get rid of the catapults, this thing will not work for you because the catapults will eventually destroy I believe your wall in half of the time you're needed to survive, so that's like 40 seconds. And the hero that can destroy the catapult is Basric. And the skill called the Bad Blitz can be cast two times, and every time you cast it on a catapult, you can target three catapults in one time, and they all just die at the last proc or in the middle of the procs or something like that. So every time you will feel a Basric, you can just get rid of those catapults and your dire lit skeletons will just completely survive or most of them and you just win the event by default. And that is pretty much it. Like this is a cheese method. It doesn't require insane money. It doesn't require a lot of resources, materials or whatever. It's just using what is given to you. Now, why did I make this video? I kind of checked YouTube if someone else had actually made this and no, nobody really made this. So probably from me making this video, quite a lot of people will start passing this event to stage 50 and they would be getting a lot of those materials that they were previously missing. Keep in mind guys, I have used the primary formation of them testing this out. So you can easily improve this formation by many means in terms of using specific heroes to further CC the enemy backline by using more dire skeletons and all those kinds of things. So you can easily improve this. I am just giving you the basics of being able to finish this event. And if you want to do it faster, more reliably, there are a lot of heroes and a lot more things to be able to make it happen for you. And this game is much more fun if you figure stuff out yourself. However, as I showed you before, this event, a lot of players are already missing on my server and I know a lot of you guys are missing that as well. So this video is just for you to be aware that you can easily pass this, but it will require one thing from you and that is literally sacrificing your entire front line if you have it just to turn them into dire lit skeletons and probably just a few let's say archers so that is the only downfall that you will have to have which will require you to spend either a few days of army rush to retrain them if you're playing a different race or 
a lot of time and a lot of days to train it all back. Whichever is the case, it is very, very worth it to fully finish that event. Like, no joke, this is the best event, gives you so much stuff, you just cannot miss it and you have to have it stage 50 every single time. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if this has helped you out. And if it did, please do hit that subscribe button and that like button. It will help me out a lot. Take care and stay safe out there.